Yes, of course, I'm very confident. First, I want to thank God and thank the leadership of our great party, the Labour Party, for the guidelines, the process, the goals, the goals to their determination to do a free and fair, credible primaries. Now, of course, that will end the life of APC and PDP in a do state. Uh, Peter B have made it very clear, our national leader, that he wants a very transparent primaries, that he has said so. Aburi have committed to that. The national organizing have said so. And of course, there's no qualms, I think. There's no cause for alarm. We are a family who will do it, and other people will see it, and it will be well done. Now, uh, the PDP is holding uh, speed in uh, every government house. How confident are you that your party can rest so far from the PDP? <laughs> We are the party to beat, we will win. Labour will defeat PDP very, very well. They don't have a candidate. They will, who? Strangers from Lagos, cartels from Lagos. A house divided can never stand. We did get it by Labour is the party of Mama, Papa, Peking. The People's Party, the Masses Party. I have said and I will continue to say, this year, this election will be about the federal might in court as it affects or as it is said within a PC in Nigeria. Then, of course, the state might, as it's been defined by Godwin, Oshomole represent the federal might, Godwin representing the state might. Those two might are no might at all. They are Goliaths. The might that will be seen in 2024 this year, and there will be the might of the people, the masses, the women, the boys, the students, the organizers, the tailors. These are the might we are talking about. You know, when we say, I do not be Lagos, I do not be Kano, I do not be Imo or Kogi, what does that mean? It means that we are independent voters. It means that nobody can write our results. If God willing, I emerge, me, Kennedy Maswang, but after 21 years of my struggle, of my patience, of pain, of crisscrossing at those states for in 21 years, gentlemen of the press, and I do Labour Party delegates, gives me the ticket. No man, born or woman, will rig this year election if I'm on the ballot. Nobody. Great question. My plan will be quickly to do what I call massive infrastructural development. What we're seeing today is not the Edo I grew up in, where you cannot even enter Edo. The roads are bad, bad roads. Our young ladies and young guys don't have jobs. I will move quickly from the one to make sure I create jobs. Nobody, no child that is of school age will be left on the street, not under my watch. Every child will have to go to school. Will be, education will be our industry, it has always been, but under this administration, uh, edu education in Edo today is a shame and a sham. So I will quickly fix a, a, a educational, uh, uh, I, will, I will fix Edo education. You know, what we have now, I, they call it Edo basis, not Edo basis, Edo bad. We will really bring back edu education the way it should be. Then we would we also look at the loans and the borrowed. You don't borrow money to, to do Owambe, to take champagne and do things. We will, they, we will block leakages, we will make sure that we do stuff well, the way things should be done. We will jumpstart the economy quickly and swiftly. We will embolden every young Edo people to go back to the farm. I'll be the number one chief farmer, I can imagine. Gentlemen of the press, I am heavily prepared by God and by man and by, by man and by men and by circumstance to lead Edo now. The new Edo that is coming is going to be a door of our dream, a door where the girls will be accommodated, where there will not be security, where the boys will be happy where every papa, every mama will be glad that, yes, we've got our governor, the rice man, the governor of the street. I want to bring back Edo to the days of Obomodia, to the days of Ambrosali. We are tired, I'm tired. I don't want to leave Edo like this before I go to, back to my crater. 
I want to have a dough. On the day I will meet with my God, I want to be able to smile. That yes, I came, I contributed my, and I did well for Edo people, God. Thank you, my creator, for making me an Edo man. I'm the happiest guy to be a Nigerian. I'm very proud to be a Nigerian. But I'm also sad for the state of Edo. I'm sad that I cannot move from Abuja on the road to Benin. That I cannot not move from Ewem in my village in Ikeke. I cannot drive to Benin just because the roads are bad. That's unacceptable. Not in this century. God forbid it. Edo should relax. Ken is coming. The rice man is coming. If I've been with them for 20 years with my sweat, with government money, <laughs> it will be well. I can show you folks. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm sure you've seen, you've seen the difference now. <laughs> <laughs>